the religious leaders that their father was who? Their dad. Okay. So that means that those leaders, knowingly or unknowingly, and that I don't know, were in cahoots with Satan. Yes. So do you think that those were the only times that leaders were in cahoots, knowingly or unknowingly, with Satan? It's happening now. So that's who the theirs are. Don't be afraid of their troubles and their their, their stuff they're trying to push on us. You know, and I we, we ain't even get to the underworld. I'm I'm just gonna have to stop with that. I'm gonna because I gotta make this point. And, 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 I, and I think I, I don't even know if I, I don't think I got let's see, I gotta make a point. You can be with me for just bear with me for a second. Okay. This is good enough. Okay. This is your paycheck. Okay? You get paid. Now, the minute you get paid, this goes to you. This goes to other people. So, the minute you get paid, the government says, okay, right off the bat, between this and that, you owe me 20%. All right. Right there. 23%. All right, right there. Okay, this, this is the government. Actually, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna make this the government. Because they, we're going we're gonna to turn this guy into the government. So we can see the distinction. This is you. Okay. And they said, okay, you need it for taxes. Because you need roads and buildings and all that kind of stuff. All right, fine. Then they said, okay, you know what? We just came up with something new. And the roads and, and build and, and, and lights, and all that, that's to help you. Okay, fine. Then they say, okay, you know what we realize? We want to make sure that your senior years, we have too many seniors, and they take something that people care about. We want your senior years to be better. And we want to make sure that you are able to sustain yourself in your senior times. So I want you to work just like you're working, and you're still going to pay taxes. And the taxes are for your roads and you know, the roads that we ride on that are so smooth. You know, the bridges that look so nice, you know, all the lights on every corner, you know, that are nice and bright. That's what our, you know, our taxes and all, all that kind of other stuff. I mean, there's other stuff too, but you know what I'm talking about. But now we want to make sure that in your senior years, that you're taken care of. So we're going to have this thing called Social Security. All right, so we're going to, we have to take some more though, right here. But this is for your benefit. This is your, this is your money. All right, this is your money. You're not giving it to the government. You're giving it to, to you for your future, okay, but who, who collects it? Government. Government, okay, so, all right. Then they say, okay, um, we need you to, to really be able to live well. And in order to live well, uh, you gotta be careful in case things happen, difficulties and whatnot. So you need to have a, a coverage. Be it life insurance, 401k, uh, and what you want to do now, you're not going to really give that to the government. You're going to give that to investors. You know, the same people like, like Murdoch, remember Murdoch? You know, all the things that happened with his, but people like him. But still, but to do that, okay, you're going to take my Social Security and invest that? No, 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 no. Social Security is separate. We're going to give you that as a separate check. You know, and you're going to be well off by that. But just so you can really live good, we need you to invest in insurance, 401ks, all that. Okay, so we're going to take just a little bit more. Okay. Okay, now, you know what? We also recognize that um, you need better medical care. I, 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 I can just go right on down the line, right? The sinks, all right? But, but we need to take that, you know, so we got we to take that, you know, we're gonna take some more of that. Okay. Now, what's wrong with the picture? What you owe has got greatly diminished. You see the picture? You see, you see how the stack of paper went from here to there? But everything sounds what? Good. Good. But then you talk to people to live it. See, I'm waiting to go to talk to that to that person. This is this is senior citizen, 
Like I watch my mom, you know, she's on, she got her pension, and she, but she still has to work. I'm like, well, you worked for 35 years, pay, pay Social Security, you should be just rolling in the dough, so to speak. You know, mm-hmm. I'm waiting for that person. Man, this is the greatest thing. I, I, Social Security is just so good. It, 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 it's something. It is. It is something. But it's not what they what originally what. It's what they told us it was on. And so we said, well, why, why, why are you bringing all this up? What are you trying to say? This is what I'm trying to say. When you look at this, where it says, uh, "Their terror neither be troubled," and, 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 and let's keep reading here. Uh, but but sanctify the Lord your God in your what in your heart, and be ready always to give an answer for to every man that asks of you a reason of the hope. The hope, the hope. Where is your hope? Should be in Jesus. Should be. It can't be in this stuff. If it's in this stuff, what did Jesus say about the man that said, "I'm going to build bigger barns"? Jesus said, "The man that said, 'I'm going, I'm going, I, I work so well, I have so much surplus, and I can't fit all that I that I produce in these little barns, so I'm going to tear down these barns." I'm going to build bigger barns. And then say, so be, be at ease and be rest. What did Jesus say? Thou what? Fool. Fool. But wait a minute. That's what this world is selling to us. All right. So we have to be wise. We can't, because the scripture says that if it were possible... The, 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 the Antichrist, the whole spirit of what he does, would, would deceive even the very what? Yeah. The, the very elect. Because it sounds good. But it's all really just trouble. And you wonder, how did I get, why is this, I don't know, I think I'm doing everything right. And, you know, I, I, I look at some of these, these people that believe, when I say these people, I'm talking about myself too. They believed it. Yeah, I'm going to put all this money in my 401k. I'm going to do that. I'm going to be just fine. Well, what happens if all of a sudden another murder happens? Well, 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 let's take the people that had their money with the investment aspect that murder had. Where was their guarantee? What did they do? How many people have we saw story after story that they had to, they, they, I, we thought we were set for life, but what happens? We, we have nothing. Okay, well, well, Murdoch. Now that's a that's a one time thing. That ain't okay, but what about what about 2008 when Lehman Brothers, when uh, 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 I uh, what is it I N G? Well, I mean, all these different companies when they had when we had the what the financial collapse and everybody's stuff got what wiped out. Trouble. But what did Jesus say? Don't worry about that stuff. So therefore, what it's telling me is I can't have my heart tied up in my what? In my riches. I can't have it tied up in what this world will promise me. That's what I went through this whole thing for. If everything you're trying to do is to be tied up in what the world is promising you, you have no hope. You are going to be disappointed. This world is going to disappoint you. Now. You say, well, well, some people do very well. Okay, let's talk about them. And when we talk about them, we'll be done. We're going to have to get to the underworld next week. We're going to be four weeks in this chapter. Um, look at the, the people that got it. Okay. Look at, all, look, at the, look at the movie stars. They got fame. They got good looks. You know they got good looks, but they go to the plastic surgeon as often as they want, as they want to. They got money. They making millions of dollars. These movie stars, they are, they just got it all. Mm-hmm. And they are the happiest people, the generous people, the most generous people. They, they are the most kind, they're the most thoughtful because they are feel so wonderful about life that, that, you know, and those are just, oh, wait a minute, I'm living in the fantasy world. Aren't <laughs> <laughs> That's not how it works, is it? No. Those are the ones that you look at, it, they're on drugs because they can't deal with the reality. Wait a minute, they can't. They got all the money you could want. Don't put your hope in money. It's an illusion. The deception. And this is what, when we get to the underworld, we're going to see that this underworld taught people. The, 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 the fallen angels, they taught men how to do war, 
has to do seduction and about the illusion of wealth. Three big things that were taught to him. And these so-called leaders know how to work and do all that stuff. They understand how all that stuff works. And so they know how to seduce you and how to produce war. Because see, I have to have you against it. That's the whole aspect of our Democrat versus Republican. They're all the same. But I have to make you upset with this one. So we'll, we'll say Democrat and we'll say Republican, but in reality, they're the same. But what does that do? It produces a divide. See, this political system is a whole lot like, you ever, you ever watch the WWF, the World Wrestling Federation? See, the World Wrestling Federation, is, it's all fake, right? We all know that. Okay. But what they have to do, they have to have the good guy wrestler, you know, and they got to have the what? The bad guy wrestler. And they and then they, they make the good guy wrestler get his fan base. And the bad guy wrestler gets his fan base. And they keep going and they agitate and they build the fans up into what? A big old frenzy. And then, and then they go and they sell the tickets for a hundred something dollars because everybody wanna go see I wanna go see this guy kill this guy. No, I wanna go see this guy kill this guy. And they build them all up and they get all motivated and everything. And but wait a minute. Is the good guy wrestler and the bad guy wrestler really hate each other? No. They, they are the best of buddies, man, because they are making hand, money hand over what? Hand over fist. Because they realize if, they, if, if we put the formula in just right and we produce the hysteria just right, we can get them fired up. And we, but they're on the same team. It's the same thing with our Democrats and our Republicans. They're just doing the WWF on us, but they're doing it big time. If we can get them fired up, we get the Democrats hating the Republicans. We get the Republicans hating the Democrats. 